Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com and MissMelinda.com, here to bring you our new moon reading for the new moon in Leo taking place on Sunday, August 8th at 7.50 a.m. United States Central Standard Time. I am here to bring us our new moon forecast. Today I am using the Morgan Greer deck and I will be pulling four cards and speaking about them in pairs of two. Today we are looking for the guidance and messages that will assist us with best and most successfully traversing the energies of this new moon, Leo new moon, coming up on Sunday, August 8th. What are the messages and what is the guidance available for us for this new moon? I'm shuffling the deck and let's see which cards come up. I've got our first two. Our first card is the Three of Wands and the second card is the Hanged Man. Let's pull two more cards and then I'll start diving into the guidance for this Leo new moon. What is our guidance to most successfully traverse this Leo new moon in August? Coming right up, the two of wands and the moon card. Okay, so not particularly the kind of um, cards that you might expect for a Leo new moon. Perhaps you're expecting some sunshiny cards. Maybe you were expecting the Queen of Wands and that kind of vibe. But instead, we're starting here with the Three of Wands and the Hanged Man. So what we're seeing is that with these two cards together, we may be expecting to move forward in the near future. We may really be looking forward to future plans. Um, we may have even recently had a lot more optimism or seen a lot more possibilities in terms of our future ventures. So here we are looking forward into the future, really expecting to move forward, feeling more optimistic, feeling more hopeful, seeing more possibilities for ourselves, and yet feeling a little bit stuck, or maybe a lot stuck with this hanged man energy. So the thing is with the hanged man, we always need to recognize that when the universe is putting a halt on things when when things are being kind of um, not necessarily blocked but more like they're just kind of stagnating in a way or at least we feel like they're stagnating right when that happens when things just refuse to move forward because of forces outside of ourselves because of circumstances because of whatever is happening um, in the world around us and the culture around us and our community or on the world stage right um the hanged man has that kind of energy it's energy coming from outside of us that affects us and prevents us from doing the things that we feel we're ready to do and whenever that happens we need to recognize that it is for a purpose and the purpose is to see things from a new perspective so when we're feeling um like we're ready to move but we're just stuck and nothing will flow we need to stop and say how can i see things differently now what new perspective can i gain from this sometimes it's helpful to literally turn things upside down look at them from the opposite way that you have been recently, or even play a game with yourself and say, if I were somebody completely opposite me, how would I be feeling? What would I be thinking? How would I be seeing things? Or what is the complete opposite perspective from my own perspective? And what can I learn from that? That's a little game we can play with ourselves just to turn our perspective on its side the hanged man literally wants us to turn things upside down turn our perspective on its side and gain new insight so 
the reason we're not moving forward right now is because there's something new to learn and it's really about the perspective we can gain. That perspective that we're going to be able to gain now around this new moon is going to assist us with moving forward in the future in a better way, more prepared, more skills, more wisdom, the things that we really need in order to proceed in a way that's more successful. In other words, better preparation. Perhaps there are still some skills we need to learn. Perhaps there's still some knowledge we need to glean. Perhaps the experiences that we're having now are going to better equip us for the things that we're going to face when we do get to move forward. Maybe we'll have more patience. Maybe we will be able to better understand other people and where they're coming from. And that's going to help us in ways that we can't even imagine yet, but it is for a purpose. So this is where we're starting with this new moon energy. Moving forward to the Two of Wands and the Moon card paired together here. If you're experiencing difficulties, difficulties that have to do with perhaps um, sadness, depression, maybe even feeling a little bit of paranoia around this time, maybe struggling a little with mental health. If you start to feel this kind of cloudiness, this kind of weight over you, do not hesitate to ask other people for help. Two of Wands is here to remind us that we cannot do everything alone. We are not designed to and we cannot. Don't put all of that pressure on yourself. You can't always heal yourself alone. You can't always do everything that you need to alone. We're meant to work together. We're meant to lean on each other. Also, if you're the kind of person that likes to lead, that likes to be at the forefront, that likes to be out in the public eye, uh, that likes to head the projects, then around this new moon is a good time for you to take a step back and let somebody else shine in that limelight. Recognize that you need people in all roles in order for anything to succeed. And it's important that we all know how to play different roles, that we know how to support others as well as knowing how to lead, right? That we can work together as a team. This is a good new moon for team work and it's a good new moon to play around with your role in partnerships. This can be work-related partnerships. It can also be any kind of relationship. Recognize that neither of you do it all alone. You each play a particular role. You each have strengths and weaknesses. How are those strengths and weaknesses playing upon each other now? Is something off balance? And are you able to take a step back and gain some new balance? You may be able to gain that balance by playing a role that you don't usually play. With this hanged man here, uh, letting us know that new perspective is needed and that it's the opposite from what we've been uh, toying with or what we've been dwelling on. Perhaps ideas that are even the opposite from, from the way that we've been feeling, right? With that hanged man here and this two of wands, it's very likely that we need to play around with, experiment with, playing a new role in our relationships in order to right a wrong or in order to bring things back into balance. And that's going to clear up any fogginess, any confusion, any illusions, right? So if we are having trouble seeing our relationships with clarity, now remember I'm talking about professional relationships, romantic relationships, familial relationships, all kinds of relationships. If we're having trouble with the balance there and particularly having trouble with seeing things clearly, seeing our role clearly or understanding the dynamics clearly, the guidance for that is going to be to, uh, to think about our own behavior, our own role in that relationship and how we can rebalance that, how we can um, either take a step back or take a step forward depending upon what we have been doing. We may find that we're not seeing things clearly around this new moon. And another way that some additional guidance may come to you around this new moon will be in your 
dreams. Our dream lives are going to be very important. They're probably going to be very powerful around this time. You can expect an increase in your dream life. You can expect some intensity, some surprises. Pay attention, there's going to be messages for you there. And last but not least, another way to deal with all of this, let me recap what all of this is. Another way to deal with, with this feeling of not being able to move forward when you thought you were ready to, and this feeling of relationships being kind of cloudy, kind of heavy, um, maybe some misunderstandings and misinterpretations of the relationship dynamics, right? Another way to deal with these things that can be occurring around this new moon is going to be creativity. Make sure that you allow yourself some extra time to express yourself creatively uh, in whatever way feels right to you. There are many, many ways to explore creativity Play with that, play with letting your emotions or even your pent up energies, even your pent up frustrations, um, playing with those, allowing those to flow a little bit more freely. Maybe it's going to be intuitive movement, maybe it's going to be dance, maybe it's going to be painting or drawing or something that we understand in a more classic sense as creative. It can be anything that feels good to you. Gardening, crafting, cooking, create create. That is the main word. Many, many blessings and happy new moon.